Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today we're at the Bahia Principe Grand Aquamarine and we're going to take a look at the breakfast offerings here. Full disclosure here, Bahia Principe did invite us out to the hotel and they did cover the cost of our stay. So thank you Bahia Principe. Alright, so we're starting at this station right here in the middle. We're going to start with some fresh salads and cold options. So we got some um, fresh spreads here like cream cheeses. We have some um, different corn dishes and salads in the back. You can see all these different kind of cream cheeses with different herbs in them. And then some fish eggs in the back here too. Moving over this way we have some jams. Like kind of a, some special jams here. We got like a star fruit jam. Uh, looks like a guava or a papaya. And then some pineapple, grapes, banana. Over this way we have some fresh hams and some salamis and then wrapping around this way some more ham options here too. Coming around to the back side of this island we have some cheeses so there's no options here to tell you what the cheeses are but I've, from what I've seen before there's some like Danish cheese, some Gouda cheese, uh, Manchego cheese, lots of different cheeses. Then we have some um, dates and raisins and walnuts to top up your breakfast. Lots of different sauces here which usually are found at dinner time as well to kind of dress up your salad or um, add some uh, oyster sauce or balsamic to your dish. Over on this side we have some, uh, some options here. We have some like lettuce, tomato, more lettuce there, cucumber, and then some different uh, sauces and dressings for your salad. Just around here there's a uh, small toast station or bread station because there's another big one on the far side which we're going to finish with. But here's some bagels here that you can grab and pop into the toaster here. We're going to move to the other island just behind us here. But first let's take a look at this small little section here. Some roast beef and then some mushrooms and this is where we started with the cream cheese. Over this way we have some some rice cakes here, which looks like gluten-free options, which always awesome to see some gluten-free options here. So here we have some passion fruit, um, some more fresh fruits like melon, some uh, mandarin oranges, some bananas, watermelon. We have some fresh pineapple, some papaya, some apples, and then some, I don't know what this is called. This is called sapodilla fruit, sapodilla fruit. I've never heard of that before. And then over here we have some, um, so these are yogurts. We have some pineapple, strawberry, plum, and then like a red fruit yogurt. And over here we have some fruit juices, like watermelon, celery, pineapple, papaya. And then wrapping around this way we have some fruit salads with some different toppings. And then over this way we have uh, some yogurt. And then just behind the, the counter here, as you can see, just over there, there's a blender here. So you can take any of the fruit that's offered at these stations and blend them up into your own customized smoothie. And then on the back side here, we have some uh, more cheese, some white cheese, and then some hams to go along with it. And then they always have some um, alternative milk options here, which is awesome to see for people who have dietary restrictions or preferences. So we have some just regular milk, a soy milk, and skimmed milk, and then in the back there's an almond milk as well. And I really like to see this one. They have a full-on honeycomb here with some honey coming out of that and dripping down into this uh, little bowl here. So you can get some real fresh honey from a honeycomb. Transitioning over to the outside here is going to be more of the hot foods. So just before we do that, I just want to show you like the vibes here in the living room, or the dining room, sorry. There it is, aquamarine. Just behind where I just was showing the dining room there, they have some fresh bread here that you can grab and put into these toasters. And then some fresh cereals here. You can see if you can find your favorite cereal. And then some cold milk and chocolate milk to go along with it. Over here they have some, uh, some oats for the morning and then some chocolate sauce to go with that. And then some toppings like sugar, cinnamon and some uh, rolled oats here too. So coming around this way here, there's some um, hot food preparation. So we have some uh, bacon, we have uh, mashed plantain, looks like sort of like an onion ring back there. Some boiled eggs, uh, some zucchini with onion, we have some pineapple with uh, peppers, potato hash browns, uh, some prepared sandwiches. There's some sausage here too and some fried cheese, some broccoli. Um, looks like there's some like beef at the back as well. Lots of different options here for hot food here at breakfast. And then here on our next station, just to the left, is uh, some fresh egg preparations. We have some boiled eggs in the back. We have some, oh, some really good fried cheese. That one looks really yummy. And we have some scrambled eggs with vegetables, scrambled eggs with ham, and then just a regular kind of plain scrambled eggs. Moving down from there, we have some hard boiled eggs here. And then we have one of the pretty unique options here, some quail eggs. 
And then at these stations here, the um, Bahir Principe chefs will cook up a fresh omelette for you, as you can see they're doing just over there. And then in the middle between the two omelette stations there's some caramelized ham. That one looks really yummy. And I'll show you some of the offerings here that you can get for your omelettes. So you got some jalapeno, tomato, uh, peppers, corn, mushrooms, ham, and some cheese and onion. And then they'll also fry you up an egg as you can see here. And then just beside the omelette station we have like some pancakes over here. It looks like they have like a strawberry pancake, chocolate pancake, and just regular pancakes. And then over here we have some, typically there's some French toast here but it's currently out. There's some crepes and some churros and then some Nutella and peanut butter to go along with it. And then just on the far side of the uh, buffet here we got more hot dishes here which will be similar to what we saw before. We have some pineapple and pepper, some sausage, some beef, uh, some fried salami, broccoli. There's some uh, freshly made kind of sandwiches here with cheese and ham, some potato hash browns, fried plantain, bacon, all kinds of yummy stuff. And then there's some condiments here too, some mustard, ketchup, and mayonnaise. And then finally around the back side, close to the front of the uh, buffet, we have our desserts and bread station. So these look great. These are some sugar donuts and some um, ice donuts, so icing sugar donuts, some cinnamon buns with icing sugar, some muffins, and then some loaves here too, and sweet breads. And then finally, to finish off with some bread here, we have some uh, bread loaf and these baskets, some fresh bread that you could cut up here, croissants, chocolate croissants, these cool bread statues and these, this awesome fish uh, artwork on the wall, and then some uh, white and whole wheat bread, and then some toasters here to uh, toast up your bread. All right, so that's gonna then do it for our breakfast tour here at the uh, Grand Aquamarine at Bahia Principe. So what we're gonna do now is transition over to the dinner buffet and show you guys what food offerings are offered here at dinner. All right guys, we're back here at the dinner. Uh, we're, sorry, we're back here for the dinner. And this is at the Aquamarine buffet. So we're gonna take a look at some of the food offered. So we got some salads here, like a salmon salad, octopus salad, shrimp salad. Some great salad options here that are already freshly prepared. Avocado, fish salad, tuna salad, pasta salad. Just beside that, there's some um, fresh seafood here. We got some, there's a, I know these are mussels, and we got some fresh kind of fish here. I don't know exactly what fish this would be, but some fresh maybe smoked or salted fish. Over here is a nice uh, station that you can customize a salad, all kinds of different uh, lettuces and vegetables. And just wrapping around this way with the salads too. And then all kinds of like oils and dressings for your salad here that you can use. Coming over this side, there's like some little, almost like, um, they're not like meat, but they're like kind of fruit or vegetable kebabs here. Pineapple and shrimp and uh, almost like a little uh, carrot, uh, salted pickle, olive, onion kebabs. Got these little, uh, I don't know what these are, but they're like almost like little desserts. And then over on this side, we got some fresh cheeses. We got some goat's milk cheese, blue cheese, manchego cheese, and then provolone. And I'm just gonna head over to the other island now. All right, so here they have like a customized crepe station here. Uh, as you can see, they have like a crepe station. You can get all kinds of different fruit and put it inside a nice little crepe. All right, so this is a uh, gazpacho a vegetable cold soup and you can kind of put any of these little vegetables inside it as well. And the gazpacho would be inside, sort of in this little uh, um, container. And over here we got some uh, fresh white rice, we got some roasted chicken with a, like, a little uh, marinade sauce on it. These are fresh vegetables like zucchini. We've got some uh, cuttlefish here, which looks uh, kind of kind of good actually. Uh, Spanish style omelette, some unique stuff, I haven't seen this at any other buffets some dorade fish, and then some uh, Spanish style uh, layered sliced potatoes. I actually just read that right from the uh, name tag. I didn't actually make that up myself. Moving over to the left here, we got some fresh pizzas. So we got like a cheese pizza, pepperoni, and like a onion pizza back there. And there'll be some more pizzas coming out of the big oven over here shortly, I'm sure. Over here, we've got a, uh, the fixings to make a customized pasta. So you can see all the different vegetables you can get. And then you can select your different pasta here and uh, add any of these meats to it as well. And they'll be happy to mix you up your pasta just in these little skillets back here. Over here we've got some uh, fresh meats that are being prepared. So as you can see they got some like grilled chicken, some grilled pork, and they uh, will serve it in these little dishes here. Some fresh uh, zucchini. And the other thing they do here is they let you kind of choose if you'd like a fresh one made, you can select one of these from the dish here and they'll fry it up to your liking. Over here, we have a fresh um, red snapper. 
and I'll cut you up a piece fresh off the bone for your dinner. And then also there's a, uh, some more stuff here that they'll grill up for you. There's some tomatoes, uh, some fish, and some salmon and some onion. You can get freshly made on the grill, customized to your liking. And I'll do that right on the grill right here. Here's some of the preparations that are already grilled up. And they're making a nice seafood paella here. There's a roasted lamb leg. It looks like it's been picked through just a little bit already. As we move over this way, we can see, uh, I think these are called like frittatas, uh, like egg dishes here with vegetables. And then in here, we've got some uh, potatoes, corn on the cob, and then some uh, fresh sweet potatoes as well. These are uh, roasted sweet potatoes though, not fresh sweet potatoes. And then our last little lap around the hot food station, we've got some octopus. Uh, Galician style. We've got some fresh Spanish ratatouille and carrots. We've got a seafood casserole and then uh, some new potatoes over here as well, fried. Just over here we've got like a stewed beef and then some uh, some rice here too and some beans and vegetables mixed in. And then just beside that we have some mustard, ketchup and some mayonnaise. All right and then to finish off your dessert we got some fresh pastries and different tarts you guys can enjoy here. We've got um, all kinds of like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, jellos, and then wrapping around this way. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what these are called. It's, name's escaping right now, but maybe you guys might be able to tell me in the comments. There's like small little fruit kebabs here that you can grab from this uh, station. And then they usually have a chocolate fountain here, but it's not turned on at the moment, but used to uh, dip your fruit sticks. There's more uh, puddings and stuff here and jellos, cakes. Yeah, everything just looks so good here for dessert. And I really like how artistic they are with some of the details on the desserts here, as you can see. Some more desserts here, like a custard pie, a yogurt, some more jellos. And then if you're looking for a little bit of a uh, healthier option to end your dinner, you get some fresh fruit and some fresh coconut here. Some kiwi fruit, some melon, passion fruit, which is one of my favorites, and then some guava. And then lastly, on this side here, we've got some ice cream. It looks like we've got some like chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla ice cream. You can grab it on a plate, or you can even grab one of these cookies to go along with it. Put in a cone and you got yourself some dessert. So with that, that's gonna do it for our tours of the buffets here at Aquamarine. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you kind of see some of the food offerings here. If it did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.